On days of our lives today, Bo threatens to remove Steve's other eye, Kayla reads Caroline's love letter, and Stephanie's trance is broken by Chad, and Trip leaves for Seattle. Stephanie receives a frightening call while Trip is at his apartment. She informs her brother that Joey has been in an accident after hanging up. His shattered leg is being repaired during surgery. Trip advises her to concentrate on locating her mother despite her want to go be with him. To their brother he will go. His date with Wendy is questioned by Stephanie. He's confident she'll comprehend. When Chad visits, Marlena is at home reading a book. She had to be alive for him to see with his own eyes. Despite crying as he inquires about Kate, he is ecstatic that she is returned. Marlena only knows that Rolf had a serum Megan was interested in trying. They heard a gunshot while Kate steadfastly refused to cooperate. She believes Kayla's kidnapper was the shooter. Thomas Banks might be the henchman, according to Chad. Although Marlena didn't see Thomas there, she remembered seeing someone else. Chad is relieved to learn that she, Kayla, and Kate were by Kate's side during her final hours. Chad opens the door for Stephanie as he prepares to depart. She asks Marlena to mesmerize her as she embraces her. In Greece, Kayla discovers a note from Victor to her mother in the wine cellar. Caroline gave it back untouched. Kayla sobs as she reads Victor's apology for going back to Greece. He couldn't keep his love from her hidden, and he didn't want to ruin her family. He was aware that they couldn't be married and start a family, but he thought they might be able to start something on their own. She was invited to see him in his boyhood home by him. They could be able to be together, even for a brief period of time. She might be his spouse. As Steve envelops Bo at the Greek police station, Bo shifts and blinks his eyes. Steve questions his survival and the purpose of his pretending to be Shane Donovan. Bo fabricates the fact that he is an ISA undercover agent seeking proof. The more questions Steve asks, the more he grows irritated. Steve snatches him and yells that Kayla is with Thomas Banks, who he is hunting for. As he pulls out his phone to notify her that Bo is still alive, he adds that hope is present. The phone is taken by Bo. Bo informs Steve that he, not Thomas Banks, actually took Kayla. Steve wants an explanation. Bo tries to escape, but Steve grabs his arm and stops him. Bo brandishes a switchblade, but Steve is confident Bo won't harm him. Bo points out that he stole his eye. Steve is nailed to the wall and he offers, how about I take the other? He draws his rifle and drives his blade into the wall. Steve has no idea what transpired, yet he is powerless to alter the last 40 years. His best pal Bo will always be there for him. Bo commands his friend to stop talking and then knocks him out. The tavern's owner, Constantine, walks up to Hope and Harris in a furious manner with a bat. Harris is a familiar client from years ago, and he has heard about Harris' actions. He cocks the bat, supposing Harris has fled from police custody. Hope is now safe, he assures her. Hope shows him the news article on Harris's acquittal. Constantine withdraws and apologizes. Hope displays images of Thomas Banks and Constantine Kayla. Only Thomas, who stayed there a few years ago but hasn't seen him since, is familiar to him. Constantine remembers how delighted Harris and Hope were to meet in that particular pub. He particularly liked Hope because she danced and flung plates. Hope claims it never took place. Constantine aspires to Trip recapture that phone evening's booking night. a flight when Wendy returns home. He informs her of Joey. He regrets missing their supper, but Wendy understands that Joey needs him. He gives her a quick kiss before asking for a rain check. Bo carries a hobbling Steve to the police officer at the Greek police station. Bo requests the prisms while posing as British. Bo escorts Steve away as the police hands them up. She sedates Stephanie at Marlena's. Chad listens as Stephanie talks about her phone conversation with Kayla. She remembered hearing Kayla repeat a name over static. Chad interrupts and inquires, who was it? Chad cringes when Marlena flinches. Stephanie claims that she is hearing nothing. When Marlena awakens her from hypnosis, Chad claims he ruined the experience by interfering. However, Stephanie claims that she did hear the name Victor Kyriakis. The waiters dance as Hope and Harris eat in the pub. Hope continues to insist that it never happened despite Harris' encouragement to join them. Hope is yanked out of her chair by a waiter. She shouts, Remember this to Harris as her stiff movements become smooth. She hurls dinnerware. The waiters surround them as Hope pulls Harris toward her. 
they kiss and dance in one another's arms. Kayla completes Victor's letter in the wine cellar, in which he requests Caroline to take his request into account. Bo comes back with Steve and the prisms. Kayla exhales. Bo grasps Steve's collar. Steve's head is drooping and his forehead is dripping with blood. When Bo departs, Kayla runs to her husband's slouched position. Sweetness, he murmurs. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Daily Bulletin News, and stay with us.